What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide. So we've already done Didier Drogba. We are going to be working on Burkamp and working our way through the rest of these worldwide free players. So this is part of a login bonus. If you want to get one of these free players, you also can earn another one through objectives, which are going to be run throughout the course of the next few weeks. But we do have some nice players in here. As I said, I've already covered a lot of these guys um, in various other videos, but we will go through the rest of them and kind of link them in together. So uh, we are going to take a look at the three goalkeepers. We've got Casillas, we've got Czech, and we've got Vit Vitor Baye. So these three goalkeepers are the only goalkeepers in this selection. The rest are outfield players, and they kind of are different in how you're going to train them, right? So a lot of people are asking me about Czech. A lot of people are asking me about Casillas. I think they're very different, right? So I said I'd do kind of a comparison between the two of them, right? We are going to start with Baye, right? Because he's the lowest rated player, um, or role, lowest ra rated goalkeeper in the game. But he's got some nice stats. I mean, he doesn't have long throw or, or low punt, which I think are very um important if you are looking to set up counterattacks or if you like to play possession or you like to be very comfortable in possession that you can throw the ball out to your right or uh your right or left backs or your right or left winger midfielders uh that can kind of start attacks and swing balls in very quickly now he's down as a defensive goalkeeper which means that he's going to have a couple of more levels to go and he's not going to be as high rated as the others but he does have some fairly decent stats all the same right so this is just a training guide here for him because his height and it's the same with Cassius, right i have kind of a rule of thumb that if a goalkeeper is under 190 cm okay or in around that like 188 189 cm if they're around that i always improve the jump as best as i possibly can um because it kind of like means that if you'll have noticed it right that some players will automatically just cover off certain lanes especially curl shots where the the, the mechanics of the game now really kind of incorporate like jumping saves right and like they have changed the goalkeepers a little bit but that rule still applies i think for shorter goalkeepers that they're kind of more zippy and if you pair it with reflexes and you have the jump there um you can get you a fairly solid goalkeeper especially with a bit of manual goalkeeping and a little bit bit of more mobility in your goalkeepers right so i've just popped five into aerial strength that's going to boost up the jump from 85 when we've given 10 into goalkeeper one nine into goalkeeper two and 8 into goalkeeper 3 stats, okay? So you're going to have 88 uh, goalkeeper awareness with 88 reflexes and 90 jump, okay? Now, as I said before, lads, this is all subjective to you. You can actually take 2 off here to give yourself 4 points back. You'll have 88 in jump, and you could pop 1 onto here, and then you could put it into whatever possession play style you want. If you want to boost your possession play style or quick counter possession or quick counter play style, they are going to be doing away with this team play style, so I wouldn't bother with that, but that is just an idea if you wanted to go that way. Um, if you wanted more kicking power, you could do that. Sometimes that does help with long range kickouts. Um, but what you're going to want to have here is you're going to have like what four stats in the 88 zone. So I do actually quite like that build of him. So you've 88 offensive or goalkeeper or awareness, reflexes, and reach. And then, of course, you have the 88 jump, which you're all going to get the boost because he is on B rating and he has unwavering form. Okay, so yeah, I mean, not the worst goalkeeper in it doesn't really compare with the other two which we're going to see here right so the first one we have is Petr Cech what a goalkeeper this guy was lads but I think he is a disaster for me in eFootball I played a couple of games with him in co-op on other people's squads when they've had him and he just never does it for me he's down as a defensive goalkeeper he's 29 levels to go and he goes into a very high uh, stats including 95 into goalkeeper reflexes which is probably a little bit overkill on this card the reason I pumped it up so so far um, and so high is because you know because of the height of check here right and the way that goalkeepers are kind of modeled and their player models you don't really need and nor are you going to get a high jump stat on these goalkeepers that are above 190 cm there are a couple of exceptions to the rule obviously but a general rule of thumb is that if you have a player that's smaller than 190 cm as i already said um you know you will be able to get his jump up fairly high we'll see that again with Cassius in a minute if you have a player that's fairly tall Donnarumma, Oblak, uh, Czech, Schmeichel they're going to be more about command the area with a physical presence right um, so it'll be interesting to see how they kind of update and upgrade goalkeepers with e Football 2024 but that might be the route that they go down is to kind of have solid goalkeepers or else really nimble mobile goalkeepers okay um, so for Czech I'm just going to max out his reflexes because even if I take away reflexes here, right, I could take two away. I'm going to be losing out on the catching, which I think is an important one for him. But even if I take one or two away here and give myself eight points to spend, 
there's no really to spend him, you know, because you don't really need the awareness above 88 because he's going to be getting the unwavering form and the player form arrow when you're playing him. And then if you go here, you're not going to get the goalkeeper up uh, or the clearing up too far, right? Or the parrying, you know, you're not going to get that up, um, you know, that high, even with that. And especially with the goalkeeper reach. I mean, he's so tall that he doesn't need that extra bit into the reach, okay? So for me, I'm definitely going to go with that um, route there and then see what happens. And again, you can pop one on there if you want to. Uh, it all depends, of course, if you want to get a little bit extra to the jump. But I think 94, 95 reflexes, is probably the key on that card um if you're looking to go that route with him because look at the end of the day you don't need uh you don't need too many stats if you are looking to train up a player that can dominate for you um especially with a goalkeeper and i think goalkeeper reflex is exactly where to put it so once that's at 94 95 the rest of the stats don't really matter once reach is at 88 and reflexes is at 94 95 you can pop in the rest into jump or else you can put it into the rest of the stats here and then last but not least, we have a Casillas who we'll go into here first um, as the trio pack here. Um, again, you can see Casillas, right? So this kind of ties in with it straight off the rip, okay? The one big issue with Casillas is that he's got standard form, but he does have long throw. He doesn't have low punt, which is a bit of a concern for me, but I usually use long throw a lot. Um, but you'll notice straight away, right? Look at his height and then look at his jumping stat. It's 77 straight off the rip, right? So 77 for there. Look at Czech's height. Uh, his jumping is 64 and his height is 196 and then Vic, uh, Baye is the same you can see the jumping is 75 height 184 and that's kind of a, a general rule of thumb for all goalkeepers depending on their, their height so for Cassius lads he starts off as an offensive goalkeeper with 87 overall he is a bit he is a beast but he does take a little bit of getting used to especially because he doesn't have a wavering form which I think is a travesty man he should have it like he was one of the best goalkeepers of all time he definitely should have unwavering form, okay? But they probably just wanted to balance the card a little bit. So when you take a look at his stats, or you're going to be all about boosting up the reflexes and the jump, okay? So for me, everything else is kind of second, uh, second, you know, best or second what I'm looking for, okay? Catching and then clearing or parrying, uh, you can get that into the 88 with the offensive awareness as well. It depends on how you want to train this card, but I would probably leave it at this. I think this is the best version of him. You could pop one or two more into goalkeeper one if you wanted the awareness and jump to be 90, but I think have the reflexes at 94, you have your jump at 89, you'll get the boost. You've got the goalkeeper awareness at 88, the, the parrying at 88, and your reach at 90. So I think that this is probably the best goalkeeper in the pack, especially for how I would like to play. Check, I think, is just a little bit, for the manual goalkeeping, he's a little bit, you know, immobile. Um, he doesn't really, like, move too fluid when you actually go to manually control him. And obviously, that depends on response times and the connection and the server and all that. But I always find that Check is kind of in no man's land a lot of the time, even though he's very physically dominating. Um, I still think Donna is probably the best goalkeeper. But if you do spin one of these and get one of your free uh, goalkeepers, you, one of your free agents as a goalkeeper, then this is a guide for them. So that is it for me, lads. Up next, we will have Burkamp and Law, and then we will move on to the midfielders and Figo and, uh, yeah, Donadoni and all those guys. So hope you're enjoying the content, lads. If you are, drop a like and drop a subscription if you are not subscribed to the channel. And if you don't like the video, get in touch and let me know some constructive criticism and we will see if we can improve. So that is it for me. I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.